And daycare centers in the U.S. care for over 5 million kids right now, and they're struggling to stay open amid the coronavirus pandemic. So the Biden administration is stepping in with an allotted $39 billion of COVID-19 relief funds to help those facilities. The American Rescue Plan designated money for stabilization grants to help expand child care and help low-income families pay for that child care. Owner of Creative Minds and Loving Hearts Daycare Center, Brittany Estelet, says it's been a tough year, but she's fortunate. I did lose two of my daycare kids due to their parents losing their jobs because of the pandemic. Thankfully, I was able to replace them rather quickly because other parents, their sitters closed for whatever reasoning and they needed someone. Jody Acock, owner of Sarah's Daycare Center in Lafayette, says the pandemic hit them hard. At one point, child enrollment was so low, ACOC had to close his doors for a month. After being in business for 31 years, we lost money in 2020 for the first time ever. At the end of March, uh, we were open. We had a staff of 12 people here, and we only had seven children, so uh, it didn't make sense to remain open. Money from the American Rescue Plan will also help care providers pay business rent and invest in COVID-19 safety protocols. That's something Estelette says they've struggled with because cleaning products can be pricey and hard to find. Lysol is basically off the question. The Lysol wipes especially, those were my, I guess you could say my best friend when it came to cleaning. And those, I still have trouble finding the Lysol wipes. Now, those grants will also go to helping pay for the rehiring of coworkers who were laid off because of the pandemic. The Department of Health and Human Services Administration for Children and Families will give the grants to the states, and then it will be left up to those states to distribute those funds.